Hi, I'm Jenny on the Glass Developer Relations team. And today I'm going to show you how to get up and running building glassware with Java. So the fastest way to, get build, uh, to build glassware is using the quick start projects we have. They're available in several different languages. But today we're talking about Java. So let's click here and go to the Java quick start. Sometimes you'll want to look before you leap. So let's take a look at the demo to see what we have here. Here is the Java Quick Start. It shows you, uh, it helps, it helps, it's the easiest way to start building glassware. It provides a foundation for you to build your projects on top of, so you can get started fast without worrying about um, the, the boilerplate code. And it also demonstrates a few common functions that we think your glassware is going to include. You can send timeline items to one user with attachments. You can send items to all your users. You can work with uh, notifications, that kind of stuff. So let's show you how to get the code. You can click on this big button to go to GitHub and download uh, the source code. Click on the download zip button. Watch it download. Then we're going to go over into our terminal to set it up. First thing we're going to want to do is unzip it. You can see a whole bunch of files got extracted, but we only need to modify one to get started. We just need to set some configuration parameters. So we're going to go in to the directory and modify this file, oauth.properties. There are two fields that we're setting here. We're setting our client ID and our client secret. You can get both of these values from the Google APIs console. You can get to the Google APIs console by going to code.google.com slash APIs slash console. So I've created a new project. But if you've never created one before, one will automatically be created for you. The first thing we're going to do is turn on the Mirror API. So we're going to scroll down and enable the Google Mirror API here by clicking on this toggle. You might be asked to accept some terms. Just click Accept. Next, we're going to set up the API access. So we're going to go to the API access panel and click on the inviting giant blue button. Here, we're going to name our glassware. And then we're going to tell a little bit about how our project is set up. Mirror API Glassware are web applications, so we'll leave that set to the default. But we're going to start by running it on localhost on our laptop. So we're going to switch it over to uh, http colon slash slash, and then type into this field, localhost, and then click Create Client ID. Next, we're going to need to make one little tweak to this. We're going to need to set the port. Because the Java Quick Start uses port 8080 by default. So we'll go in here and add colon 8080, making the redirect URI HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash OAuth2 callback. We'll click Update, and we're all set for configuration. So we'll copy the client ID, and we will set it in this file. And then we're going to grab the client secret two lines below and also um, add it to this file. We're going to save our file, and our configuration is all set. Next, we're going to build and start our, our Quick Start project. The Java Quick Start uses Maven for dependency management uh, and build, and it also uses a Jetty plugin to, for execution. So we need one command to start this up, mvn jetty run. So we're going to press. Enter, fire that command off, and this may run a little bit longer on your system, but I already have all the dependencies. We can see that it has started up, so let's take a look in our web browser. Go to localhost port 8080. A glassware is going to ask for permissions. You can click accept um, and allow the, the, the quick start project to start working with your glass. And right away, it inserts a welcome message, which, is, which has already been delivered to my glass. You can click these buttons below to do some other functions, like insert a picture of Chipotle. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get started. From here, you can modify the Quick Start project to add your own features and functions, and just use it as a foundation for your interesting project. Thanks a lot for um, watching me guide you through the Java Quick Start. Look forward to what you create.